Partner Training Part 4 How our courses are structured and the training format and style. One of the things to know and one of the things we're often asked is what is the training like? People may have been on good and bad courses in the past. Those courses that may have not hold their attention, covered old ground or overused presentation devices like PowerPoint or whiteboards. Our courses of course use those tools, predominantly try to be interactive, engaging and participative. The way the courses are structured is the most important thing of all. Each of the one day courses, and most are one day, are structured around six core modules. The modules are divided equally between morning and afternoon and are fairly equal in duration of around 60 minutes. Some may be slightly longer or shorter. The structure of each 60 minutes also has a uniformity to it. We might start off with a few discussive questions with the main group. This will lead into a general theme of why that subject matters and their experience and views regarding it. This may follow a short presentation, possibly 6 to 16 minutes long, highlighting a few key principles, key points or techniques. This will then be followed by a short activity or exercise, maybe 20 minutes or so in duration, with plenary session or main group session to follow through and review and refine comments, the learning and summarize and highlight the key principles or takeaways as it's known. Let me give an example. Let's imagine we're looking at the module on questioning techniques in Brilliant Customer Service. So we might start off with a simple discussion to the group. Can you give me an example of an open question? Can you give me an example of a closed question? When would you use open? When would you use closed? What are the benefits of each? Why is it people in shops will use a closed question, can I help you, when it gets a negative response? Which are the best questions to use to solve problems or uncover customers' issues and needs? So this will then generally get some discussion going with one or more people in the room knowing the difference and others may have known the difference in the past but have now forgotten them. So two or three slides will then simply go through these different types of questions, including things such as probing, hypothetical, the TED model, and then obviously some elements of how you draw out information with run-on questions, active listening, empathy, and so on. So now we need to practice this. So we start with a simple generic exercise where people work in threes, with one person being an observer and the other two being interview and interviewee, practicing their questions, encouraging the other person to talk about a favorite subject. Each of these lasts three minutes with a little bit of feedback after each one, with the observer noting the kinds of questions used and how good the listening was. This will take 15 minutes, bring the group together and summarize those learning points. Then we go into a handout where they will use a prompt sheet to plan questions around a workplace based problem that they have shared earlier in the course or we've researched before the training. They will then repeat the role play, this time using the work based example and their prepared questions, getting the phrasing and drawing out skills correct. Again, this comes back to a summary session to nail down the learning. So in all, around 60 minutes, which has included two role plays, a couple of discussions and a few short presentations. This is what we try to stick to during each of the training courses. On the two-day courses, we may take time to review the previous day session or move on the learning to more advanced topics. In some of the consultative selling courses, the role plays may of course be longer, some 15 or 20 minutes if they're replicating a sales call. In this case, the modules may be reduced to four or even three during the course of a day. And the course may then continue over two or three days depending on the customer's preference.
So the structure of the course is important. We need to keep a clear pace, a sense of movement, a sense of progression, and a sense of learning and engagement.